yako hapa na amekuwa na aoni macho imepotea sasa tunauliza hii boda itatufikisha wapi watoto wanakufa ya zombies there is a serious crisis at the coast the leadership is quiet si pale inawekwa kuangalia tena pale inawekwa mtoleo na matiramu mimi na mtoto wabaya hana macho na manaka na madigiri na hawezi akaenda kazi kwa hiyo tumenitasiriza sana vijana wetu ameisha kwa kitanda instead ya kulala kwa kitanda juu wanalala chini. Mama ndio wanalala juu peke yao. Kienda shule zetu zote the classrooms are empty. Juhudi za naibu rais Rigathi Gashagwa kutegua kitendawili cha dinamizi la matumizi ya pombe haramu bado yamesalia mtanziko. Huku magweni na walevi wanaongezeka maradufu. Kumaliza hii pombe kabisa kwa sababu imekuwa pigo kubwa kwa sababu hata wale wanashughulika na hii pombe ni kama wameshindwa na kazi kwa sabu, kwa hivyo ningeomba serikali kuu ingilie kati hii maneno iweze kusuluhikia hii pombe ambayo imetuacha sisi watoto bila mzazi mmoja na pengine wengine wameacha mayatima ndio uh, tulikuwa tunaomboleza kifo cha vifo vya wale ambao wamekufa baada ya kunywa pombe haramu E, kumi na watano hivi basi liko na ibada ya kuomboleza pamoja na watu wa familia zao na e, tumekuwa na ibada nzuri ingawaje imekuwa na uzuni mwingi kwa sababu ya jinsi hawa ndugu zetu walivyoaga kulingana na shirika la kudhibiti vileo nchini nakada wa Kenya milioni 3.2 wanakunywa pombe huku eneo la magharibi likiongoza kwa asilimia 23.8 ikifuatiwa na pwani asilimia 13.9 na eneo la kati asilimia 12.8 ripoti hiyo hiyo pia ilionyesha eneo la magharibi linaongoza kwa unywaji wa pombe haramu kwa asilimia 11.4 ikifuatiwa na Nyanza asilimia 6.3 na eneo la bonde la Ufa likishikilia nafasi ya tatu kwa asilimia 3.6 kulingana na makadirio ya nakada ni kuwa kati ya watu 53 mmoja anatumia bangi we will sustain our efforts to ensure that uh, the residents of this area are not victims of uh, contraband alcohol and the cries of the residents that were made last week could be fruitful. some of these drugs could somehow find their way back into the community uh, i know we've had problems with our storage facilities this is a very emphatic statement we're burning them out we're happy with the support that you're getting from the judiciary the odpp this is a multi agency approach of doing things zaidi ya watu 20 wameaga dunia nchini baada ya kubugia kileo huku wengine wakipofuka mfano katika eneo la Kagai kaunti ya Kirinyaga baada ya kubugia pombe haramu kuna mbura zangu yako hapa na amekunywa na aoni macho imepotea sasa tunauliza hii pombe itatufikisha wapi i did their own uh, residence that is their own homes and therefore they were taken to mortuary directly kipale inawekwa Mwangalie tena pale inaweka utoleo na matiramu. Mimi na mtoto wabaya hana macho na manana na madigiri na hawezi akaenda kazi. Na hiyo imenitasiriza sana. Idadi ya waliofariki Kagai iliongezeka na kufikia 23 hali ambayo imemlazimu naibu wa rais Rigathi Gashagwa kuamrisha kuhamishwa kwa makamishi na wa kaunti ya Kirinyaga. Wewe kama ni police officer uko na ba uamue wacha kazi uendelee na ba ama uache ba uendelee na kazi waziri wa usalama wa ndani msomi kiture kindiki alitoa onyokali kwa wanao wa uzia wa Kenya pombe hiyo haramu na kutoa masharti ya kudhibiti vileo i've also initiated a program to crack down on the sale of ethanol and other ingredients of second generation drinks and some of the measures that government will take include tax initiatives to discourage the trade in illicit ethanol we are going to review all the existing licenses of manufacturers of second generation drinks across the country within a week you shut down those brewing dance 
permanently. And you don't shut them down and go away. You police them to make sure that they will never reopen. Let us know what ails us. What is it must we do? We have the support of the president and he's waiting. He has told me by 7 p.m. today, he wants a report. He cannot accept the situation. He cannot. Neither can I. And none of you should accept this situation. It is not right. It is not fair. It is not acceptable. We must deal with it as leaders. And we are here. We are all leaders. Familia nyingi ambazo wapenda wao wale atirika wa miachwa na majonzi na masikitiko wasijue la kufanya. Uh, rabi rabi zetu kwa watu 23 ambayo wamekufa walipo kunywa hizi pombe za haramu. Na vile mmekuwa mkiona ni mmekuwa nikipambana na hii mambo ya pombe na dawa za kulevia. Mimi leo nataka kusema hivi. Ba zote zile ambazo ziko Kirinyaga County zimefungwa kutoka leo. Close. And a new process ya ku verify na licensing yanze. This man who sold this poison has been arrested and arraigned before court for a record 16 times. He is given fines that are mockery of justice. And he continued to sell this product. And this is the result that we have here today. Sisi kama wakaaji wa hii area, tungeomba tutafalani. Hata kama ni hizi buzz, kwanza zifungwe. Wacha tukai mbila kukunya pombe. Wacha tukunya chai. Tukunya maziwa. Hii pombe, hata sahi bila tunahungea, bado hiko tu waziri. Sahi sahi ukiwa hapa kwa mkutano. Kuna moja hapa meletwa, amekimbizu wa kirogwe. Sahi sahi. Mafisa wa usalama wa milaumiwa kwa utepetevu kwani wanadaiwa kuchukua hongo na kuachilia wamiliki wa pombe hiyo haramu. Wa tausiwa sumu na mtu ikisemekana ni pombe. Mabaa haitafunguliwa mchana na usiku. Ile mabaa baiko na leseni ifunguliwe saa 11 wale wanataka kutumia watumie saa 5 waende wakalale. Hii ya kukunywa mchana haiwezekani. Hii ya kukunywa mpaka asubuhi haiwezekani. Na I want to thank the county commissioner and your team for the good job you are doing na muendelee. Na sisi tumeamua kama serikali hakuna county commissioner, hakuna USPD, hakuna UCS ataenda transfer. Ukishindwa na kasi tunafutia wewe pahali wewe iko kutoka hapo unaenda nyumbani. Jumatano ya tarehe 26 Februari mwaka huu Rigadi Gashagwa aliandaa mkutano wa pamoja na wadau pwani akitumia fursa hiyo kuhamasisha umma dhidi ya matumizi ya pombe haramu. Rigadi alichukua fursa hiyo kuwalaumu viongozi wa pwani kwa kuzembea na kutu kuto lizungumzia swala hilo. Tuko na sisi pale Samata. For a long time he has not arrested any drug baron. He has not arrested. I'll be here for a meal on, on duty for about uh, four days. We must get a, a, a baron within, within those four days. And the chiefs know who is selling these drugs. Wanajua. OCS at the local police station know who is selling these drugs. What terrorists are doing to our country, the harm that other organized criminals are doing to our country, including bandits, is the same harm that those who are manufacturing, transporting, selling, distributing, and encouraging drugs and alcohol. Are... And those officers who mess up, those officers who are corrupt, I agree with you, Your Excellency, Waziri, they should not be transferred. They should be fired on the spot. Wengine wanajaribu kuniusia uoga mimi. Oh, Deputy President, unajua hii watu ya pombe ni kaya adhikali sana. Wewe, nanimuti ya kuchaguliwa. Si watu watakufukuza vile walifukuza mutudho. So mimi niseme na mnaii. Kama hii kiti itapotea, 
kwa sababu ya kusema watoto wetu hatutakubali wa uziwe sumu niko tayari kuna wakati tulimshika na edhano tukapeleka kotini na ikasemekana tupeane vifaza zenye zinatumika kutengeneza hiyo pombe pombe haramu sasa imekuwa ni janga kwani taifa la Kenya limeathirika kila pande wale watu wote wa madawa ya kulevya na wale watu wote wanalisha vijana wa Kenya pombe haramu ambayo ni sumu inaharibu maisha ya wananchi na inaleta maafa katika taifa letu la Kenya kama serikali hatuwezi kuruhusu tena na tumesema mahali popote ambapo itapatikana mtu ambaye hana leseni na anatengeneza pombe ambayo ni haramu na pombe ambayo ni sumu sio ya kwamba tutafunga tutaharibu hiyo mahali na kuharibu vivaa yote ambayo hawa watu wanatumia kuharibu vijana wetu wa taifa la Kenya Utepetevu wa maafisa wa usalama umepelekea jina mizi la pombe haramu kukithiri sio tu kwa watu wakubwa bali pia kwa vijana kwani wanafunzi wengi sasa wanabugia pombe aina ainati bila kujali madhara yake Nimemwambia naibu wa rais nimemwambia profesa Kindiki nimemwambia IG na watu wote wa serikali kwamba hakuna nafasi tena ya kulisha watoto wetu madawa ya kulevya ama pombe haramu ambayo inatuletea hasara katika taifa letu la Kenya hata kama vibali vimetupuliwa mbali kuruhusu mchakato mpya kuendelezwa vijana wengi wanaangaika kwa hii dunia vijana wengi hata kusimama ni shida vijana wengi hata kusimamia familia yao ni shida kwa sababu ya mambo ya pombe we will not agree as a nation to lose a whole generation to drugs and to alcoholism ni vema tume ya utumishi wa polisi NPS kufagia maafisa tepetevu ili kuleta nidhamu katika utendakazi for avoidance of doubt bars will open at 5 and close at 11 pm the rest of the time let us go and work let us go and build houses let us go and provide shelter for the Kenyan people Mimi nataka niwaambie jameni hakuna mtu atakufa kwa sababu hajakunywa pombe Na kama kuna mtu atakuwa mgonjwa kwa sababu ya ya kukosa kunywa pombe tutampeleka hospitali for free Langujina ni Gabriel Mokoma na haya ni makala ya upekuzi I am telling my viewers both in Bololo and the country wide internationally uh, we subscribe this channel it's a nice channel hello welcome to the gabriel tv and please please subscribe to this channel because we are going to do big big things <laughs> just leave your comments like and subscribe to the channel and welcome to the gabriel tv show please subscribe make sure you like and share they can have more subscribers i'm in the gabriel show remember to subscribe and like down below welcome to the gabriel tv make sure you subscribe comment share hello and welcome to the gabriel tv and this is the gabriel tv, gabriel TV.